Okay. It's a Saturday, but uh, the usual. Mm -hmm. Dad looks like mm -hmm. But he has to do a project for me on the farm. So Mark's going to have to just go with me today. Okay. Okay. Put your glasses on. You can do it. You put them on good. Down. Okay, now we're talking about the Willis Tower. Okay, British insurance broker Willis Group Holdings leased, L-E-A-S-E-D, more than, excuse me, 140,000 square feet of space on three floors. A Willis spokesman said naming rights were obtained as part of the negotiations, N E G O T I A T I O N S. Mm -hmm. The building was renamed mm -hmm. Willis mm -hmm. Tower on July 16, 2009. Well, how about that? I had no idea about that. Okay, so let's start with some spelling words. The first word is vacated. Okay, vacated. I gotta do some breathing. Vacated. Look, look, look. Prevent. A and. Prevent. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's it. A then. I was mistaken. Yeah, yeah, no, you were going at first. T then. why we did the word vacated that wasn't even in oh my gosh you know what there was part of the paragraph that I didn't read okay it was they put a picture in the middle which usually they don't do that so that's why I got confused all right let me start at the beginning I won't read the whole thing just the as mentioned previously the Willis Tower once known as the Sears Tower was once known as the Sears Tower Sears S-E-A-R-S sold the tower in 1994 and vacated. Then there's where we have our word, V-A-C-A-T-E-D. That means left or evacuated in 1995, but retained the naming rights until 2003. Okay. And then the British insurance company came in and leased uh, three floors. And then in the negotiation, they renamed the tower the Willis Tower. Okay, that's why we did the word vacated. Next word is British. Oh, then. Uh, I know. 
need to look closely. Mm -hmm. okay. Chicago Fire Department. Interesting. Mm. Okay. In the text, mm -hmm. freight is defined as what? Mm -hmm. Blank, blank. It's two blanks. Mm -hmm. Well, like a sign. Here we go. Okay. Freight is defined as what? Mm -hmm. Get in your head first. Get in your head. T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-A-N-T-R-
Good job. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Both okay. key then. Mm -hmm. So uh, now over. Uh, R and okay. good correction. Transport. Mm -hmm. Last next word. Okay. G and so double. Uh, now over. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. It is featured in a number of scenes. The building is also featured in the History Channel's Life After People, in which it and other human made landmarks, L A N D M A R K S, <laughs> suffer from neglect without humans around, collapsing 200 years after people are gone. Well, that is pretty dark. Life after people. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The building appeared in the <laughs> film Ferris Blank Blank Blank. Oh, you have to do three blanks. Ferris Blank Blank Blank. This was a movie that was popular when I was a kid. Okay, and that's it. D A 